Chris Clash might actually be back. A few weeks ago, I made a video going into details about what happened to Chris Clash, voicing my frustrations and letting everyone know the problems that I had with the game. But today, all our efforts might soon be rewarded because our boy Toji just got revealed alongside a few Kaiser st students such as Mai and Momo. But we all know everyone cares about Toji. And let me just say this, Toji is by far the fastest character in the game. Not only does Tojo breaks Gojo's Limitless, but he also has some type of dashing mechanic which he can easily dodge the opponent's move or he can speed blitz the opponent. Toji's playground states speed and power combined to wreak havoc on the enemy with his superhuman physical techniques and unique curse tools. Hear me out. If Toji is super broken, that's totally fine by me. Let Toji be the most broken, unbalanced character in the game. And I promise you, if he feels smooth and he's fast, like he like we see in his gameplay, I dare to play the game every day until Sparky Zero drops. Moving on to Team Gojo, he might actually be better than his adult counterpart. Because Team Gojo's blue ability legit brings the opponent back to you after you hit them away. Another thing, Team Gojo's limitless technique seems to last longer than his adult counterpart. And my only problem with Team Gojo is his move he used against Toji in that one fight. This animation does not look complete whatsoever. Other than that wonky you feel me animation, Team Gojo looks absolutely nice. I'm actually really excited to play Toji and Team Gojo. Moving on to Team Ghetto though, he also looks better than his adult counterpart. And it seems this game's DLC is by far better than the base roster. Team Ghetto, Team Gojo looks better than the counterparts. Toji looks absolutely busted. And we also get screenshots of Mai and Momo, the Kaido students and Curse Clash. And I'm like, it's like, damn, we Loki could have waited for this game. If biking would have just cooked a little bit longer, you can fix something, upgrade the graphics a little bit, this game could have been better than what it was on launch. But still, I'm happy we're getting free DLC and Toji better than nothing. And guess on top of that, I forgot to mention this, we're getting two more maps as well. Listen, biking, you guys are doing something good with Toji. Toji looks amazing. You can these two new maps look cool. Team Gojo, Team Ghetto, they all look great. I'm just hoping Toji plays fucking great. I hope he's fast. I hope he has more combos than other, other characters. I'm just excited to see combos. Not only that, I'm also excited to play the new maps. You feel me? I'm excited to play Toji. Like, let me know in the comments. Will Toji, my, you feel me, Momo, the two maps, Team Gojo, Team Gelto, will this new DLC bring you back to the game? I'm probably not gonna lie. I'm gonna record some videos playing Toji for you guys. I'm probably gonna record videos playing Mai and Momo and the two new maps. Like, listen, Curse Clash isn't terrible. It's just missing something that really, really, really offset the game from other games you feel me but like i said like i said before let me know in the comments will you guys come back to crush clash to play toji or you have you guys refund the game and you just say fuck the game the game's trash my name is king Dante. do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video